Hello everyone. We're on the train and we're on our way to Nantwich, which is where the Hackbrain nuclear bunker is. And this is what we're about to investigate. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a scary night for sure. Yes. Oh yeah. Scary. What ghosts will we encounter tonight? Christina. We're obviously going to investigate the nuclear bunker today. What are your thoughts? Um, I think something, um, something's gonna happen there. Something no so good. You know, I have this feeling like something is gonna happen when we get there and during the night. And I'm, I'm a little bit scared, but I'm. I'm excited, so I, I want to go, but I don't want it. It's like my head is telling me to go, but my heart is telling me to don't because something is going to happen. Melissa, what are your thoughts on how tonight's going to be? So, my thoughts um, are pretty much similar to Christina's. I don't get a good vibe about this place, and I'm actually not really nervous from the day. It's quite a creepy place. There's been uh, cases of torture go on there, so and also apparently there's very negative spirits that are going to be around. And poltergeist activity has been reported. Mm. I don't know. We're going to be doing road vigils. Are we going to be safe? We've got the walkie-talkies. We're going to be separated. Who knows what the hell's going to happen? In, but it is a creepy, creepy place. But I'm super excited. Obviously, this is an area that we've never been to before. There are three floors. We know that there are certain places where activity is at its highest level. There was um, a lesbian couple back yes. in those days. Yes. And there was speculation as to whether she was murdered or yes. she committed suicide. Uh -huh. This is hopefully what we can connect with tonight. Apparently, sorry to interrupt you, her body was found crumpled at the bottom of the stairs. stairs. Apparently there's a spirit of a Russian spy there, but he's not a vengeful spirit. Apparently yeah. he just he just wants to get revenge on the people that tortured him. Wow. So he can come across as aggressive. That's what I've heard. What I do, what I did read up about was something about room nine, and there's yeah. apparently a spirit there who keeps on coming back to finish off her work, something like that. So. We've got to check out where this is. I don't know what level it is, but all I know it's for a night. You say that um, you're going to feel something because you're quite sensitive. I'm thinking about why I'm going to feel. I don't want to feel bad, so I'm scared of what I'm going to feel. But don't forget, we're free girls. Okay, so this spirit could potentially want to come to us and, and we're also, I don't know how to put this, we're more susceptible. We're going to be, because uh, it's just the three of us. If it's a bigger group, because I do know that the gym goes down to bigger groups yeah. than you, but the three of us, I do so we are just three, absolutely. You know, this is, it's an indoor venue, firstly, it's known for activity, paranormal activity. Well, we've got to be careful because it's just the three of us inside this building. So that's why we've got the walkie talkies. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. And all the lights are going to be off. There's We're no going to be thrown into the dark. Yeah. It's wow. going to be pitch black. Okay. It's going to be pitch black. Yeah. Oh my God. We do have electricity on the ground floor, I think. But I mean, Lucy's going to give us a tour of the place where we can go, where we can't go. Um, I think the canteen is the only place. Pitch black. Yeah. We love the it as a group. We're so passionate about it. We love the character. We love everything scary for us. This is a big, big deal. Going to Hackbury Bunker. I think it's the biggest. It's the biggest deal. It's the biggest one. Yeah. And it's just the three of us. It's really big. Yeah, guys. I'm actually quite pleased with that. There it goes. Oh, yeah. We can handle it. Yes, we can. We can handle it. We can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> We have just arrived. Yeah. We just arrived. 
in crew. At crew. At in crew. 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 We're here. No, we arrived at right two crew. We've arrived at crew station. Monitoring center. And, um, For your personal safety and security, no. this station is currently being monitored. Sorry about and that. CCTV footage is being recorded. Oh, okay, we've made it at crew station. We're going to go to the hotel, check in, chill out for a bit, and then we're going to go to the hat crew. Okay. Oh, ready. Christina, give the camera a kiss. We tried to make it as simplistic as possible. Yeah. What do you do? We vlog, vlog ghosts. ghosts. <laughs> it's, like, it's like vlogging the video. She's like, well, it's vlogging. Because <laughs> what we actually know about the story of Joan is that obviously she had a lover who it was it was like frowned lesbian. upon. Yeah. yeah. So back then it was really frowned upon, and at first pe some people thought that she was murdered, but actually. From, I think it was from Most Haunted, uh, they yes, came out with the fact haunted. that, that was the she committed suicide. Yeah. Well, this was the argument. It yeah. The, that, I would say that's the, that's the long-going uh, like, sort of, like, discussion over it. Yeah. Is that she fell. We know that much. Yeah. But was she pushed? Did you jump? There's, when someone says, they killed me, sometimes they mean as in they killed me, e.g. they actually killed me physically. Yeah. And sometimes people can say they killed me as in like they drove me to it. So oh, uh, like, that's, that's true. Yeah. It's really creepy. It's, really uh, it's so atmospheric though. Oh, well, that's Ooh, here it is guys. Yeah. And here we are at the Hat Green Bunker. Christina, are you excited? No, I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be scared, we're together. My heart is going to come out of my chest. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. Are you scared now? Are you waiting to get in there? No, I don't know. This is so cool. Right, that's all right. I'm going to tell you how cool this is. Okay. Wow. Guys, this is such an opportunity. I mean, look at this place. Literally padlock because we're going to be the only ones in here. And don't forget, this is a secret nuclear bunker. And in we go. This is the base that they used to use waiting for any kind of communication about an attack from the That's right. Soviet so this was like the first defence. Mm -hmm. We are now locked in. Oh my gosh. Sorry, can we, get we are now locked you, in. You've been locked in now. You yeah, that's leave. it. We can't escape. Oh, I there feel better no now. Escape. <laughs> You're the only team that's ever actually come um, in with me. So oh, yeah. wow. We're normally the way outside. Like, oh, well, that's fireworks. Again, oh, yeah. every time we do yeah. a vlog, there's fireworks. Yeah. I don't know why. If you watch our vlogs, there's always <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> yours. Weird. Okay, we're walking up to the bunker. This is it, guys. Oh, wait. Security is your responsibility. Yeah. Will you guys give it a second while I open the... Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, my goodness, look at this door. Oh, my goodness. Whoa! <laughs> that, I don't want it. Look at that there. What the? What? Warning: This bunker is security controlled by a silent alarm. What on earth? Why is it doing that? Oh, it's just because it's just uh, scary. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, Lucy, can you tell us a bit about this place, please? Um. So, in terms of the sort of short history of the bunker, uh, it started back in 1938 when they built a complete replica of Crew Railway Station here out of wood and rubber. So the tracks, the buildings, absolutely everything. Uh, the aim being that if we went to war, that the enemy bombers would come over and uh, bomb us instead of Crew Railway Station. 
But of course, as time went on, um, and they couldn't fly of a day because it would be dangerous and they would have been shot down. They uh, used to fly of a night. Of course, they used to navigate with the moonlight into the railway tracks, and they found the real rail exchanges and it didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we became a radar station. So we were sort of like looking for incoming bombers. Uh, then after the war, we became a rotor radar station. So we were looking for sort of like uh, Soviet bombers carrying sort of nuclear weapons. Mm. And then we became a radar station, sort of like a radar policing station, policing the oppressed space of Britain um, against the movement of sort of aircraft traffic in the 1960s. Um, between 79 and 83, they rebuilt the build bunker at the cost of £32 million. Wow. And uh, we were a regional government headquarters. So that's civil servants sort of negotiating the control and the reorganisation of the remaining people after an attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we closed in 92, mm-hmm. and then we opened the museum in 96, and here we are. Here we are today. Land before that, because obviously it's not just about bunker. Immediately beforehand it was farmland. Um, before that it was woodland, uh, and the woodland was cut down to service the brine pits uh, that we're here, mm-hmm. because one thing that we're quite famous for in Cheshire is the salt trail uh, and the brine pits, and there is still a brine pool uh, in Nantwich. Oh. Um, and kind of before that, it's a bit unknown. Um, we suspect that there might have been some sort of Saxon sort of living here, mm. but of course, obviously, there's a bunker, so we can't dig and it. So. Yeah. <laughs> So if anybody wants to do a private ghost hunt at the Hat Green Bunker, I will leave a link to their website down below in the description box. And these guys have been kind enough to let us use the premises tonight to film our vlog. We're very excited. Yes. We're now entering the bunker. And the doors are about to oh, be now shut. It's time for lockdown. Wow. until 4 o'clock in the morning. This is it. This is it, okay? We've never been in a place like this. I'm really excited. I'm very nervous as well. This place is huge. 35,000 square feet of tunnels. Nervous. It's massive. <laughs> it's huge. Guys, you need to check out this place. Is Lucy going to give us a tour? Got it. Follow me. Can you show me how bad my There's mannequin number one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, the mannequin will your problems. <laughs> oh. So, this is the main museum. Oh. In terms of like, Hotspots, this is hotspot, but I always kind of have them as like low medium and high, so this is a kind of like a low medium. I'm going to volunteer to walk towards that door over there. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm glad you were me and I'm glad it wasn't me. Uh, it's on a heat motion sensor. Yeah. So oh my God. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you go in, it'll turn on. And if you don't want it to turn on, don't go in there. <laughs> wow. But at least you know about it now. Yeah. Gosh, that really freaked me out. <laughs> Are you ready to go underground? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say no? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going down. Is this the lower? Going that way. Going down, guys. Imagine you see a figure just running across. Don't stay there. 
40 foot underground. 40 foot. So, okay. And the walls are six and a half foot thick. Wow. So, if at any time you think you can hear me outside, you can't. Oh, nice. There's no external noises. Wow. Uh, also, it's a uh, still environment. Yes. So as long as you keep the door to the canteen closed, there's nothing that can cause a draft. There's nothing that makes any noises. Um, there's nothing. No, nothing to change the temperature. I mean, obviously you're going to have changes of temperature from room to room. Yeah. Because it's a bigger room, it's an outside room, whatever. Um, but you shouldn't have anything to change the temperature in the room. Okay. Or have cold spots, this, which makes your job a lot easier. Because yes. basically, this is it. So you it's consistent it. temperature. So you can see yeah. 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 there that would influence it. Okay. Okay, apart from spirits. You ready for an exciting bit? Yes. Yes. Mm. yes. <gasps> Oh, because this is the room that you like. Uh, no, I don't like this it. This is the best one for one visuals. You can shut them in. Oh, amazing. Oh. Is it actually time? Why would we know that? Oh, no, no. Can we sit down with so, our torches on? Well, I was going to say, this is why I always show people what the true dark looks like. So people can go, lights out. I'll show you what I mean. Lights, lights out. out. So no. that's the kind of level of dark I'm talking oh, about. Like and while you're in the dark, I will tell you now that this is also a high hot spot. Really? Yeah. Um, it's a pretty nasty thing. You, you get what? Some pretty nasty things in oh here. Oh my god, guys. And they are a skin of my work. And there was, um, when we first came into the bunker, everything was it's taken nice. away. So they left nothing. Everything that's here, we've collected from all over the place. Uh, with the exception of this room. Uh, in this room, there were two very large barrels of acid, um, which we don't Whoa. know what they were for. Didn't they use to dispose of the body parts? We that acid was for... We don't know what it was for. The military won't tell us what it was for. The civil defense, but no. no, that's they, really they, they just came and had it back once we went. You left it and they said, oops, sorry. And they took it back with them. So when you say this is a hot, hot spot, so there's something nasty in here. It can be. Particularly, one thing you've not thought of is the fact that you're all women. You know what I did say yeah. earlier though? I said, yeah. us three girls, I think we're going to be susceptible to male spirits or something that... And there are some that really, really don't like women. <gasps> oh my you're gosh. In trouble, then. And some can be quite aggressive. See, mm. I told you guys I wanted to be born a guy. <laughs> It's going to be an influence. Yeah. Either way, it's more likely that they're going to be angry. I've had it where instead of it being like that, where they're inside and they can hear people knocking or scratching on the door outside, and we've got a team that then there'll be people out there keeping an eye, and there's obviously been nobody at the door that they've seen. Oh my gosh, it's scary. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay, let's go. So this is the bottom corridor, and this is always my favourite bit to investigate. Room nine. Room nine. Room nine. Room nine. Room nine. Room nine through here. Because you mentioned. Yes, I did. There was. There's talk of a spirit who comes back to do work. That's the lock room. Oh, is that room nine? Oh, it's the locked one, which I'll have to come down with the key later. Okay. So this has been the most, yeah, intense story the right word. Oh, wow. There That's is something thing. about here. There's, there's something about that end that of the corridor. Exactly. But then, if you go, that's, that's the funny oh, thing. Oh, I see. If we walk to this end. Yeah. So if we walk to this end. If you walk in the middle, you stand in the middle. So that's the Stand here, stand here in the middle. Oh my god, should we, have take, should we switch the torches off? off? Yeah, let's do lights off. And then look at either end. Oh my and god. Tell me, and tell me if you still feel like it's just at one end. No. I feel surrounded. It feels really different. It does feel different. Uh, you think at that end, you think, oh, it's this end. Yes. But then 
It's no. just in, it change, like the feeling changes and moves depending on where you are. And we should go together in that room, girls. Yeah, we're going to get. To, I think we should go together for that room. Just one of the aggressive things. Yeah, exactly. So this is this is room nine, on the other side of these two doors here. So, so we'll, we'll let, as I said, what we'll do is we'll a bit a bit later we'll come come down. It's some really interesting activity in there. Oh really? Another hot spot then? Yeah, yeah. Think every time, and it's I think it's it'll work really well for you guys. Yeah. Because it's quite because everybody else has loads of kit, and that room doesn't like light, doesn't like it. Literally, good old fashioned sitting in a circle holding hands. Wow. Like, so literally good. just sat in a circle. Always works better. Really? Than that. Just thinking. Really? Holding hands. Yeah, that's it. Nothing. Proper low fi Wow. The quiet game. Yeah. And that's the thing is, I think people people forget it's one of the basics. <gasps> that's and true. Actually, you know what I mean? It is. And it's like, and yeah. I think, like, because it's just the energy. Day, they're much more it? interested in you. Yeah. Than anything else. I've not, I've not done that with a small group. We've yeah. not done that with less so than 10 people. So this will be the first time then? So it'll be the first time with less than 10 people. So that'll be oh, interesting. Oh wow. Wow. And all women, it'll be the first time all women. That'll be interesting. Fantastic. Now, no. this, yeah. this is your chance to debunk. What? Oh, this. we've got that dummy. Oh. Oh. Bikini alert state. Quiet. You can hear a slight fan. Okay, so that's. Yes. Yeah. And you get a little, a little tinny noise. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the fan. There's a fan and stuff like that. Like, so that that it, it can sort of slightly whack, like come and go a little bit. Okay. But that's a natural noise, and that's fine. At least you know what it sounds like. Okay. So that's. That's it. So now you've heard all the natural noises that are in the. Oh, I see. So that's, okay. I see. I think that's, that's it. The only one, so if you yeah. can hear, well, since you can hear that sometimes the tinny noise. Like comes and goes a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you get that bang. Yeah. Oh, well, that was there. I heard that. I heard that. Heard that. And, and you get that bang. I didn't hear it. I don't know what that was. Mm -hmm. That sounded like a the big like vault like door this. shutting. What the fuck? That was very loud. That was loud. That sounded like it was upstairs. Well, the only people on site are us lot. Sounded like the door closing. Yes, it did. Yeah. A big like vault door. door. Yep. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is that you can see the noise. The noise can change a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, quite so it, so yeah. So it can be quieter and louder because the fans are a little bit like that. Okay. It's the way that it changes in space. So that kind of so rattling at least, noise. At least you know that yeah. you hear that. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. And so it's kind of like as, as with everything. If I think there's a real reason for something, I'll tell you. Okay. I'd rather you were disappointed. If you were to mean that it was written, that it was, you know, can be a natural noise or something, yeah. then, then, you know, and you can yeah. know that everything else is 100% real for you. Mm -hmm. you say. It's good that you're but telling so us. So you want to point it out so that you've got, okay, so we've got all of your noises yeah. documented. Documented. <laughs> Yes. Right. But cool. that door, or it sounded that like something yes. upstairs, yeah. and that was loud. And we can't hear yeah. external yeah. noises yeah. outside, so what was that? It started. It started. It changes a bit from room to room, but you can still hear the background fan noise. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's quite quiet. Okay, so that's quite interesting. Yeah. I think it's amazing. I mean, is this the original stuff? Well, if you remember, I said in the room with the acid barrels that there was nothing. Oh, so you had to. It's complete. It was completely empty. Okay. But all of the things that you see are real. So it's just collected from bunkers and sites all over the place. Oh wow! Place. See, Amazing. Um, so none of it's fake. So of course, then you've now got another level that you've got the building, but also anything that might have come with the stuff. From other ones. Right. Oh yeah. So that's the thing. Because if we want to be talking when we walk in. In this room, soundproof. Oh. oh nice. Can you hear it? Yeah. Wow. You see, it's it sounds quiet. completely different. Oh though. gosh, yeah, it sounds more insulated yes. here. Yes. Yeah, because this, this was the BBC studio. Uh, so right. Done live broadcasts. Yeah, yeah, this is where they would have told you when to, when it's safe to come out, where it's safe to go, how long you have to stay inside, how much they think you know, how much is left. That might have been the fan. It could have been. Yeah, that was like, like a thud. I don't know. Here. Sounded like a thud, but then it's hard to tell in here. That's, That's true. true. Yes. So, um, as a hot spot, it is a hot spot, but this is a weird one. In that, I think people, this, this, you'll get a gist that there's so many people tend to hit the ones that are more well known, and this is one of those ones where some teams. Yeah. Nothing? Mm -hmm. 
I'll charge you for it later. It's my bum. <laughs> it's my, it's my. <laughs> there you go. Vandalism. Sorry. There you it's go. It's my bum. It's, it's, not <laughs> it's not soundproof anymore. <laughs> so, for some people, this works really, really well. I think this is one of the ones that changes dramatically from group to group. Because some of them, they really like people and they really hate people. Well, they're not interested. And then some people, some of them, it's just fairly consistent activity. And this one tends to change depending on the group. I think the problem that you're always going to have is that there's so much to investigate here, you're, you're not going to hit them all in one night, even start I'm going to have to do a part two here. Um, sure. So I thought I heard one. What did you hear? I thought I heard like a... Dum. Dum. Because I was the other side of this barrier and I saw them walk that way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so there are a number of things we get to look out for here. Noises. This place is no, so you know, people, people walking right down. Guys, this is the famous cinema. <laughs> we must come in here. This oh. is the most infamous hot spot on the Oh, uh, this is also my least favourite. Really? Oh. Why? Tell me, tell me, tell me. That's just really, it's a bad, it's a bad room. Is it a bad room? Yeah, just, I'll tell you what, try to sit in it. Just sit in it right off. Should we sit separately? Oh, and, you'll, and see if you can get a vibe out of there. That's true, so it's also quite filming. It's just what it is. Yeah. Okay, so um, Lucy's going to tell us a story about this room. Apparently, this is the most paranormal hotspot. I wouldn't say it's the most. But not the nicest. It's in fact what everybody likes. So we give it a shot just to see right. what it's like. Three, two, one. Get your seat I've left mine on. Do you want to sit down? Get your, yeah. Get your seats on. Get your seats on. Get your seats on. Get your seats on. Sit in different places. Sign me. Sit over there. Christina. <laughs> <laughs> sit somewhere. Sit where you go. Okay. So it's like right in the dock. It's right. scary, right? Let's hear the story. So. Uh, have you seen most songs? Have you seen most songs like so? Yes. Yeah. So you know where he gets punched in summer? Is that Carl? Yeah. Yeah. That was me. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we have had so many different things. And I suspect that it's just something that changes depending on what you're scared of. Yeah. Um, with the exception of some things that are quite common, one of them is ankle grabbing. We get a lot of them in here. Um, because it's almost like someone snuck under from beneath and yeah. right back the ankles. Uh, I've, I've been like strangled in it. Oh, oh shit, oh my god. god. I'm proper strangled. I'm freaking out. That's scary. Um, You've been strangled in here? Oh my god. I'm not good. What does that sensation feel like? Being strangled. What? <laughs> So well, was it like my hands? Hand? 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 No, no, it was like a man's large man's hand strangling my throat. On my throat. Strangling my goodness. That's and also, I couldn't communicate. Oh, yeah, there's something tickling my ear. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you sound the worst, see. No, you're joking. Because there's also something in the corridor. And of course, the plant comes in and it gets me to the back. What? And I think that's why I don't like it here. It's because there's nowhere that's safe. Yeah. Like most of the rooms, there's a bit that's kind of out of the activity. Yeah. But in this room, literally, nowhere is better. So we get a lot of times where like the chairs come down. Can I just see if I get an EVP on here? Is that all right? Yeah. I just want to see if there is something here. So, um, you, you're saying that this is the nastiest room. No, not the room that you see. I don't know. I would say it's of being the nastiest room. Yeah, I would say it's going to be the scariest room. I can only think it's because it's the absolute centre of one. You can get in deeper in the one can not get from where we are now. Okay, why is it sorry? Yeah, on the red light. Look, look at the red lights on the camera, guys. What was that? What is that? 
That's not the fire exercise. Why don't they want the absolute middle that doesn't get any deeper than there? Yes, and at that point, I saw something red on the camera. We all looked. We all yep. looked, and I didn't see it because I was looking that way. I didn't see why? Because that was what what confused me. Because you lot said there's something on the camera, but I was actually looking there. I was looking back. Oh my god, this is crazy, guys. I can't. Really, I, I'm. 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 I'm surprised. Okay? I know. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just like. It's kind of cool. It's cool to watch it. Like, it's it is that literally like, that was someone it just like yeah. should we even point so it on why did it sound because it was just like someone had like yeah, it was pressed it. and it pressed a button yeah I always have this thing where obviously I often take people on the tour so yeah if you get activity on the tour it's always a really good sign a bit of like how nice uh, oh yeah. so we've already heard a funk you've heard like women speaking or women and of course speaking. I'm always looking at you so if there's anything going on behind you I see it like I said don't tell people on the tour because yeah I can see someone behind you or whatever, am I? Wow. The camera's turned off by itself. That was, that was really cool. Wow. That, yep. was, that was, I wasn't scared, it was just cool. Was, was it was, because cool. we literally all saw that. Yeah. We were watching yeah. the camera yeah. as it happened. Yeah. And if you come and see it the point is, is it was like, the camera was like that close to my head. Yeah. So I could, I was looking up close. If you come and stand here, it's, it's ice. It's freezing. Can you feel that, Simon? You come and stand here. Yeah. It's so cold. Can you feel that? Oh, yes I can, but where's so the draft is, coming from? There is no draft. This picture caught my eye. It looks freaky. Oh, it's there. Oh, did I call it here? Okay, okay there's, there's a big there. temperature drop since we've been in that room. Yeah, it's cold. But it feels like there's like suddenly walk into cold. Well, we're at a walk into cold. No, because it wasn't that cold before. It wasn't that cold before, was it? Sainé, what do you think? Because it, it definitely wasn't that cold before. We, we No, it does feel colder. I mean, it could be the fact that we sat down for a little bit. Yeah. You could be maybe. Nice. Maybe. I don't know. It feels... It well, feels like you, there's something There's no up. way that you can say anything about the fact that the camera turned itself off. And we all saw it. We all we saw it. it. And we're going to yes. move we're this way, guys. Oh, sorry. It's all right. You've still got some tour left. You've not seen it all yet. That's only a bit. That was just an exciting This place is oh, massive. <laughs> so this is the, I'm just stopping for a minute, this is the communications loop. Okay. So it is like a loop. So if you rod, you'll keep going. Also, we've got one more room that still turns itself on, which I'll sort of set off first. Um, I think we have a weird room in that we've technically turned it off, but I can't turn it off because it won't let me. Oh. Although some nights it does turn off. On its own. So, you know. So it's like there's somebody still operating it. We've got uh, special electricians and things like that and we can't solve the answer. That's weird. So. Okay, I don't like being in the dark. Yes. <gasps> <gasps> wow. Is that another heater? Yeah, it's a heater. Is that another heat detector? What is that? That was you, wasn't it? I was thinking about walking today. What? It's weird, isn't it? Um, also, if you're in here, it should sound like that. It's a bit fuzzy to that. Oh, okay. Um, but sometimes it kind of does its own thing. But sometimes people can get a phone signal in here. Even though you're 40 foot underground in a fire room. What? I've, 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 I've got I've, two. Because it's like a video like that, but you can see where it hits, so you can see the angle. 
Then people thought, oh, what? So there's no way that any of these are thrown there. But the weird thing is, it's like a shilling. It was like a, an old shilling. And we've had about five instances of coins thrown, and every time it's been not modern money, and it's always been different. Like we've had Russian money, we've had, wow, 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 we've had, and I went to go and see what it was, and uh, when I came through here, I saw somebody in this room and watch, and I said, which is the studio, oh, and I said, right. excuse me, and they sort of turned around like this with the torch here so I couldn't see who they were, and then, and then they just turned around and walked off, and I saw them walk off, no. and then when I asked, like, there was nobody down there, and my God, okay, so somebody's been seen in this room. But you didn't see their face, <laughs> which... Hmm? What did you hear? I heard that, but I thought it was one of you. No, I heard that. Did you hear that? We, have we been no, here before? Yes, yeah, it was a female. Right, because so I that's why that it's that confusing. Was confusing. There, yeah. That's confusing. I told you it was like when you first walked in. <laughs> I heard that though, and I thought you it was one it. of you. No, no, I heard it in here. It wasn't you, was did it? You hear? I didn't hear it. It was like, oh. A uh, what? Stan, Stan, no, Stan. Stan. I didn't hear it. I definitely heard that. There was a female following us. It could be so Joan. It's another female it, voice that you're hearing. It could be Joan. I think one of the things that I would give you is a piece of advice. Yeah. Just because yeah. something sounds, looks, seems like a thing, doesn't mean it is. Okay. Well, it's freezing in Please press the red button. Please press the red button. Anthony. This is for you. Shout out to Michael Anthony who was on our live stream earlier on Instagram. Oh, and now we're coming to this part. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is always really cold. You know, it's a few hours. This is the full night burn when I always used to feel dizzy this time, but it's really cold. They say she was thrown or. What do you say? It always makes you feel dizzy when you stand up run, and look up. It says run. Should we run? <laughs> But I, this is what I mean, is a perfect example would be is that you can either interpret run as like run, get out, and then sometimes it's just like run, ha ha ha, play the game, I run. See. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They do like to mess with you. Like they, will, they, do like to, they do like to mess with you, they do like to lie, and they do like to. I always feel like I'm being led around by the nose. Oof, I always feel like, like I'm just being like. Mm -hmm. Because I know we're scared already. Yeah, so I, I was, I'm always feel like whenever I go on an investigation team, but for quite a while, if I'm not even just one room with them, and I'm with them for quite a bit, and I watch them naturally choose where they're going to go based on the activity, I always feel really strongly like they're just being completely plugged in. Yeah, a perfect example would be you'd be here, mm -hmm. and it's always distraction. It's a bit like if you've got kids or animals or anything. Like, wherever they're supposed to be looking, you should be looking opposite direction. I always do. So, for example, you're all here. It's probably more exciting things going on in the corridor. Oh, I see. Uh, and sometimes that's basically it's something they can sort of like sneak up behind you. And yeah. Gosh. Distraction it's techniques. But it's, I think also a portion of that is that so that you constantly feel grounded. And also, I always think that one of the big things that's often reported is that it never feels like it's just us. I don't know about you, but I don't feel like it's just us. No, absolutely not. I feel we are surrounded. It always feels really busy. Yes. Or there is a woman following us. Because we've heard a female voice, we've heard a female, like a... Well, I don't know what that was. I mean, uh, what's the that one? This is the launch room. The launch room. Like, sometimes it's fine. I don't like this. So sometimes it's fine, but we had a couple of instances where something was hiding in here. What? Do you mean? what? Proper freaked me out. What do you mean hiding? What was hiding in here? Uh, 
I was just said I don't want to lead you too much, but there's a particular thing in there that she's done really unpleasant. A thing. A thing. A thing in the bunker that does follow you around. And uh, once we were doing an investigation in there, and uh, <laughs> we had a really, like, a really intense growl from him here, and we're taking the door no, 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 no. shut on me. No. What? It, while I was in Are here. you joking? No, I'm not kidding. I, and after that, I was like, I don't, I don't really like to come in here on my own. So that's why I was like, yeah, I'm just. But then after that, equally, it's been fine in here. I think it's just that couple of instances. So there's something demonic in here. I don't want to say it's demonic. I don't know what it is. It's just, just a grumpy, very grumpy. Okay, this feels very male orientated. This space here. Yeah. And I think it would whatever inhabits this space won't like us in here at all. But tough. We're coming in. Okay. We'll be doing. An investigation in this room. Because this is when we go to the shop, so it's quite heavy. Yeah, yeah. that's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. So, you know. Oh, so there's worst oh. things that have happened. <laughs> well, you said it was strangled, eh? That was also not the worst thing that ever happened to me. So, um, but I would be unpleasant. <laughs> so but we do have a hand in being strangled. But we do have, yes. like, granted it's going to be slightly different with me because I'm here all the time. Yeah. And also, if anyone's going to be antagonistic, it's me because. Um, I'm not Yeah. So, sometimes it's a kind of like, we don't like the boss. Sensitive, and I'm feeling that something definitely is going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything about that particular area of the stairs? I mean, like, just on the top hallway there? Well, we're going to have a look. Mm. Oh, no. There's something about it. What are you feeling about well, it? Well, I saw an orb just Did now. Did you? Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know, that could be a big an orb, I don't know. Where else did you see it? Just here. Tiny, it's all blurry in front of you. So it doesn't like It's not focusing. Oh my god, it's so blurry. Come look at this. Oh my god, it really yeah. is. Do you want me to stand there and swap? And now it's focused again. No. It was just when you were standing no, it was there. Really, really, it was really not like that. Weird. It's like there was somebody standing in front of you. Yeah. That's That's and you know, Siny seems to attract a lot of. Um, it's fine. okay now. Yes. Yeah, now it's fine. So something was no, there. It was really, like, when you said it was, it was it. blurry, I thought it was like a bit blurry, but it was like, no, no, you couldn't see anything at all. Completely obscured. Wow. And your battery's dying. It is. Look, that's it's fully totally charged. Look that's at that. fully charged, and I should. Look, it's flashing. Oh my goodness. Well, let's try and address the top before we close all the battery. Come on. Why though? That's, that's literally the flashing. You were standing there. Yeah. I knew it. There's something that I was drawn to this spot. You were, and you saw an orb. Yeah. Oh my God! This is the thing I was telling you about. Guys, the, the back this of this is the dormitory. <gasps> yeah. That's the, that's the one that doesn't work very well. So should, are, we allowed to, are we allowed to lie on this? Yeah. So you said you want to stay overnight. Do you still have you been around? Do you still want to sleep here overnight? I no, 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 no. Um, if we're all together holding hands, maybe. Oh, stay here. Oh my gosh! And there's a like man in horror film. You wake up and one of your groups missing. <laughs> oh I don't want to break it. Um, are you having a nice nap? In this so, bunker. So. This room is a hot spot. This is a hot spot. Touch spot. Melissa's leg if you're there. Drag me off the bed. You see the evening? Drag me off the bed. Quiet. <laughs> Lucy, the evening. I always think whenever it's anything like this, like how freaked out you'd be if you actually were fully drunk. It's true. 
Because everyone was asked for it's it. true. And genuinely, how freaked out you'd be if you really wouldn't no, have I wouldn't even tell Because we kind of say those things because we know it won't be so obvious that that happens, but what if it does? 